today we are going to talk about how we can keep your API responses consistent in SGS by using a very simple interceptor. So if you want your API responses to be predictable and easy to work with, this one is for you. All right, so first thing first, why should you care about consistent API responses? Well, let's assume we have those three different endpoints. Endpoint one return a response with the data field. Endpoint two returns a raw JSON object right away. And endpoint three returns an array of dip different objects. As you can see, we have different shapes, which could be confusing especially for whoever is going to implement those APIs. They might have to create different interfaces to handle different API responses, meaning more code. Consistency equals predictability, meaning less confusion, meaning fewer bugs, meaning a better developer experience. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create an interceptor and fix that up. I went ahead and used a command, nest generate interceptor, and then I provided the name of my interceptor as response. And before I explain this auto-generated code, if you don't know what an interceptor is, basically interceptor is just like uh, a man in the middle, which is going to intercept a request, so you can make changes to it, log, and then you can also intercept the response so that you can also do different things based on the response. Maybe you, you just want to reshape it and so on. I have a full video about interceptors. I'm going to leave a link in the description. Let's take a look at the code now. If you take a look, we can see that Nest.js went ahead and created a class for us called response interceptor, and it decorated it with at injectable. And then this class implements an interface, which is nest interceptor. And if you take a look, it has this intercept method that we need to implement, which takes two different arguments, context, which gives us access to different things, such as the request reference, so that we can make changes, have some checks, and so on. And another argument, which is next, which is an interface called call handler, which has this handle method. Basically, it just returns the response from our route handler as an observable. You don't really need to worry yourself about that. Basically, calling next.handle is going to return the response of the route handler, so the response that we are looking to actually reshape, as an observable. So we can use .pipe, and pipe allows us to use different operators. We can chain different operators from RxJS to make different uh, operations and changes to our response. In our case, we want to reshape it, so I'm going to use the map operator from RxJS, and then here we can get the response argument. And what we're going to do is we're going to return an object. And here we're going to shape our consistent response. I'm going to call a key as data, which is going to be a wrapper for our response. And then, for example, success true, which is going to be a second field. And of course, here you can add some other metadata, maybe the timestamp or whatever you need in your response. And now in our controller, in endpoint one, we no longer need to add this data field since our interceptor is going to add it. We're going to keep endpoint two as is, and we're going to keep endpoint three as is, returning an array of objects. Now we still need to apply this interceptor globally. So we can go to main.ts and say app.use global interceptor. And then we could specify a new instance of this response interceptor. Let's save this and run our server. And now if we open post postman and hit on our endpoint one, as you can see, our response automatically has this data key and the success key added. Let's go to endpoint two. Just like endpoint one, we have the same response shape. And if you go to endpoint three, if we hit send, as you can see, we still have our response wrapped in this data, even though it's an array. And we also have this success true. So we can see that now our APIs have consistent responses. So as you can see, with just a few lines of code, we were able to make our API responses consistent, easier to maintain, and predictable. So any client or any developer trying to implement our API are going to know the standard that we are following, and it's going to be simple for them to implement it. This is just the tip of the iceberg of what interceptors can do. They can actually do a lot more, like logging, uh, manipulating the request, and so on. If you'd like to know more, make sure to watch this next video about interceptors. And if you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.